Hey guys, Demico here today. I'll teach you how to render properly in Sony Vegas Pro 8. Um, for about a month now, I've been experimenting with many formats, such as .mob, which some people prove is best, but I found out by myself that MP4 gives you the lowest file size and the best HD quality, which is pretty nice. So I'll teach you how to render it in those settings. So first of all, go go to File and click on Project Properties. And now um you have to adjust the settings so it could fit um YouTube's HD format. So type in for the width, type in 1280. For the height, type in 720. If you order, make sure it's non progressive scan. The pixel aspect ratio, make sure it's square since computers use square pixels. And the output rotation, just leave it as 0 degrees. And for the frame rate, leave it as 29.97. And the SC, which is almost 30 frames per second, which is YouTube's um, requirement, and for the pixel format, set it as 32-bit floating points. And for the compos compositing gamma, set it to 1.00 linear. For the full resolution rendering quality, set it to best, because of course you want it to be as good as possible and for the motion blur type set it as Gaussian asymmetric for the the interlace method set it to none and just have one final look at this and then have it saved saved as preset so I'm just gonna name it YouTube HD format now make sure this is checked and, well, this is optional but I like to have it checked. Now I'll save it. I'm just going to click cancel because I already have it saved. I'll now click OK and you look at your project you'll see that now it's 1280 by 720 pixels. And now I'll um, import your media. And I'm just going to pick this. And before you start rendering make sure you crap down all your videos to 16.9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and now once you're done cropping on all your media go to file and render as no it's not save movie as the appropriate way to say to save a movie is to say render so click on render as and I'm just gonna name it mpeg4 Test will name your video. Now for the file type, um, there's two ways you can, well, it's two different versions, which I haven't tested out yet, but I think one of them, which I believe is the second one, which I'll show you later, has a lower file size than the first one. Well, they get the same results though, but one of them has a lower file size. I'll teach you the first method. So for the first method, um, Make sure it's an MP4 and go to custom and pull your video rendering quality. Make sure it's at best. Now go to the video tab once you're done with that. And for the include video, make sure it's you go to custom frame size and for the wick, um, type in 1280. And for the high, type in 720. For the profile, just leave it as N as main for the frame rate just, just leave it as 29.9 the 7 NTC and for the fuel order leave it as none I don't know why my my um template does this but if it does it to you um please leave a comment for the pixel actually ratio leave it as 1.000 because then again computers use square pixels 
for the number of reference frames, um, I want to mess with this, so I will leave it to the same goes with the deep blocking filter. Now for the constant bitrate, um, go f go to uh, this, but instead of two million, type in eight million, because that's YouTube's um requirement. Now once you're done with that, I mean, custom frame size width one thousand two hundred eighty by seven hundred twenty pixels. Profile main, frame rate 29.970 NTC, NTSC. Peel order none, progressive scan, aspect ratio 1.00, number of frames, frames 2. Constant bit rate, 8 million. And yeah, that's the options for the video tab now. Or the audio tab, um, it has 44,100. For the bit rate, just leave it like that. Oh, I forgot to say, if your video doesn't have audio, audio then uncheck this. Because that will make the file size much, much smaller. The same goes with the video tab. Now, once you're done, name your template, which is, which I'll name YouTube MPEG4 Video Template. Now, press Save. And this is method one, which produces, um, which I believe produces a larger file size. Now let me teach you method two. Method two, um, it, it, it produces the same results, but it gives you a smaller file size. So now instead of going to main concept ABC dot MP4, go to main, go to Sony ABC, which as you can see is an mp4 but for some reason I tried both of these but the Sony ABC got me a smaller file size or maybe it's because while I was rendering my test for the first template um, I was running about five programs at the same time so I really it's, it's the same thing so if you're including a video make sure it's checked and if you don't make this unchecked for the video format um, have as ABC or the frame size have it as high, have it as custom. Now then again, set your width at 1280 and your height as 720. Just um, leave this unchecked. And for profile, leave it as main. For that entropy coning, leave it as CABAC. For the frame rate, leave it as 29.9. 70 NTSC for PO order leave it as none progressive scan pixel ratio again leave it as 1.000 since computers um use square pixels and for the bit rate um first set it to 4 million now change the 4 to an 8 because this is YouTube's requirement and now once you're done with that go to the audio tab Alright, so here it is in video format, ABC, frame size, 1280 by 720 pixels, profile main, entropy coding, CABAC, frame rate 29.97, NTSC, field order, non-progressive scan, pixel access ratio, 1.000, bit rate 8 million. Now once you're done with it, go on audio, and make sure this AAC, because this is, because this again is YouTube's requirement. Now for the sample rate, click, um, Select 44,100 hertz, and for the bit rate, just leave it like that. And for the system, leave it as MP4. And now, name it and I'm gonna name it as YouTube MP MPEG4 template. Now we get HD. Hmm. Now enter that, save it, and click OK. And I personally like using the render bar. Like with this thing, um, drag it all the way until to the part where the part where that you want rendered for your video to end. Leave it. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Go to file, render as. Um, choose any of the templates. I'm just gonna choose um Sony ABC, which I believe produces a file smaller file size, but I don't know. Maybe because for this one, I ran a lot of programs at the same time, so. Um, choose your template and make sure the root, the render loop region box is checked unless um, you don't have your render bar 
stretch style. When the stretch video to fill Apple fr frame size, make sure this is unchecked. Unless you're, unless you haven't gone to properties and adjusted your video, so it could be like this. Now, make sure it's all like this, and click save. And it shouldn't take like that long compared to other formats such as .mob. MP4 produces a really, really good um, file size, and it gets the same quality as all the others, but once I upload to YouTube, it'll have HD quality, and that is the best quality you can get. So, this has been Epidemical, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and this video um, helps you get HD quality on YouTube, and peace.